another day, another dollar. Welcome back to the sawmill, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm just gonna do a maintenance day, kind of. Uh, I got some logs that I wanna get stacked and some that I have to sort through so that I can get the right ones lined up for milling for uh, the rest of the siding. So that's my next priority is to get the siding on the other side of the carport, barn, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so I'm going to sort through some of this stuff here that that I got from my friend Ryan. I want to get that up on up off the ground. It's, it's already been on the ground for quite a while. So Anyway, that's where we're at. And that's what we're going to do today. Thanks for signing in and uh, stick with me. We're going to have a fun day today. What them pretty little lips gonna do to me, baby? But every single time that I come around, I seen you got another man trying to keep you down, baby. Well, you might think you're driving me insane, but I made the game that you're trying to play, you know. Maybe you all know this ain't my first rodeo. I've been around long enough to know some things you can't take back, some things you just got to let go. Yes. Well, hell, I got Sammy on the phone, Nikki at home, trying to get along so I can be with you. No, I ain't got time to change your mind Cause the bus isn't humming Are you staying? Are you coming, baby? Well, you might think you drive me insane I made the game that you're trying to play You know, I think that maybe you should know This ain't my first rodeo I've been around long enough to know There's some things you can't take back There's some things you just got to let go All oh, I ain't got time to change your mind Cause the bus is a humming Are you staying? Are you coming? Come on, baby all oh, I ain't got time to change your mind Cause the bus is a humming Are you staying? Are you coming? Yeah. Well, you might think you're driving me insane But I made the game that you're trying to play You know, I think you really all know This ain't my first rodeo Hell, I've been around long enough to know there's some things you can't take back Some things you just got to let go
that all done got everything stacked how i want it got a few uh, poplar logs pulled out probably get them all done today i guess i'm gonna go ahead and get the mill fired up and get this one cut i'm gonna cut some siding boards today i'm gonna cut it down to a four inch cant and that's probably a 20 inch log or better 24 maybe cut them all down to a four inch cant and then take my one inch pieces off for the battens too so this is all board and batten wood right here stay with me so I wanted to put a little clip in here about these logs that are on the mill right now. This is how they were harvested back in July. Uh, I was only planning on taking the one closest to me, but as you can see, it ended up pushing the other one over as well. So I ended up getting two for one on that deal. They're funny, they're efficient. Like they well, sorry for the poor audio. I was actually listening to the radio while I was operating the excavator here.
All right, so two logs cut up. I got all this wood from it. Um, from here over. And a couple of these ones too, I believe. And a couple two by fours also. So yeah, saw's cutting pretty good. For some reason when I get down to cutting the two by fours when I get my cant down to really small I start cutting the two by fours they get a belly in them I'm not sure why my cant's coming out perfectly square all I can think of is maybe there's some tension you know you're getting down towards that pith wood and maybe there's some tension in it down there you know um, I don't know I know that's the least stable wood in the in the uh, log but I'm not really sure I, I'm gonna have to figure out another way to cut my two by fours maybe cut two bigger cans put them side by side something like that I'm not really sure I'm gonna have to experiment with that but I reshot these bunks again and they're dead nuts um, I don't know they haven't moved so that's a good thing I don't think they're moving I mean it's solid this, this gravel number three gravel with uh, 57 on top it's solid and it's been tracked over with an excavator and a skid steer and everything else so i can't imagine it moving but anyway good day all in all didn't ruin anything had to change one blade just because it had done its business and uh i gotta come in here and clean up i got a pile of sawdust over here and that's just from two well two logs and then maybe three logs worth right there huh. anyways i think i'm gonna call that a wrap for the day going to go home and enjoy some dinner and have some family time and uh i'm excited my son's coming home on friday from clemson so that's going to be a good time we're going to hit the water i'm sure and do a little fishing maybe even a, get us in a little derb so anyway see you on the next one guys thanks for signing in